finally Godzilla vs. Kong came out in last week. And I finally got to see the movie. What's my review? Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, what is up? Joe the Geek here. We're gonna go ahead and review the 2021 movie Godzilla vs. Kong. This was an immaculate, immaculate story. It was directed by Adam Wingard and is a sequel to the 2019 movie Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which completes the first phase of MonsterVerse. We first see the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie back in 1962 produced by Toho Pictures, which initially was called King Kong vs. Godzilla. Now we get to see those the monsters battered all again. So many good parts in this movie. I don't know what to what to what to say for you guys. It's it's really amazing. I couldn't keep my eyes off the screen from beginning to end. The battle scenes were immaculate. Destruction everywhere. Every scene you see where they're fighting, it's destruction. They destroy every city possible. The special effects are pretty good. The fight scenes are a little bit better than the other ones. I like Godzilla, the first Godzilla movie and Godzilla King of Monsters. Fight scenes are not that bad. It's just because they were too dark and you didn't really see them. You actually see the fight scenes. They're actually fighting in the day. There's a scene where he actually fights them on the aircraft carrier, carrier in the middle of the ocean. And, um, and it was really... A, a day scene of fight, which was good. We got you actually see the two titans going after each other, fighting for for Earth, and it's crazy. Even there is actually one scene at nighttime, um, where they fight in China, and it is nighttime, but it's so lit up. The colors in the movie is just really good. Storyline's pretty basic, as we saw in the in the trailer. Godzilla is on a rampage to all the cities, and people don't know why. But there are two plot outlines in the movie that I really uh, enjoyed. The first plot outline was basically about a young professor who's played by Alexander Sarsgaard and his theory of Hollow Earth. It's another realm where the Titans apparently are coming from, and. The only and to prove his theory, he send he actually uh, agrees to send Kong in to the other realm of Hollow Earth to find his own kind Kong, and and to see why what's the true origins of Kong. It's really good. Those special that er, that scene where he's in Hollow Earth is just amazing. It's really good. As you can see, it's a kind of like a avatar feel. You see colors, different monsters, different titans. He fights this like these uh, flying snakes, where they actually call them war bats in the movie. They're new titans created by Warner Brothers Legendary Pictures, and these war bats just there's two of them where they go up against Kong. It's really funny. Uh, there's some funny scenes in the movie. Um, the character who plays. Um, Bernie, I forgot his name now. He's supposed to be the funny one, the uh, the conspiracy theory theorist, and he was uh, his 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 comedy is not that well well written. But hey, it's it's script writing. What do you expect? He has to follow the script. He has to follow the the writing of his own character, and that's why I wanted to talk to you about the second plot line, him and. Madison Russell, the uh, the character who's played from from the first film of Godzilla, King of the Monsters, she's on the quest to find out why Godzilla's on a rampage. They find out these uh, her her best friend and Bernie, three of them, they actually travel to uh, Hong Kong, and they actually discover there's something uh, brewing under the uh, under the complex of Apex. Now Apex is a kind of like a. Uh, a good cover-up government uh, factory, if you will, almost like a monarch, and uh, it's it's very very cool how they uncover something. They uncover something really cool after it, which you see in the me in the end of the film, and and all of this is going on. You see the two characters uh, at the end of the film, which is pretty cool, <laughs> and it's just a really well written uh, well written script, if you will. For that part, for the dialogue itself, the funny parts, like I said, the person who's playing Bernie, the conspiracy theory podcaster, 
Not that well, but the some of the scenes were actually pretty funny. It was with, uh, with more Kong. <laughs> There's a scene where he actually um, he actually gets defeated by Kong, and uh, and they have to revive him uh, by uh, charging his heart. So he gets up. That's easy. He pulls off a lethal weapon uh, skill from where uh, whereas um, Mel Gibson's character he snaps his shoulder back, and Kong gets up and he smashes his shoulder back. In the building, I was laughing at that part. There's another part where he's fighting the war bats, and there he's eating the head inside the head. It was pretty funny. There's so many good move parts in the movie. It's really well done. Give give credit to Iron Mungard. Give credit to Warner Brothers Legendary Pictures for making this happen. So many years we had to wait for a new Godzilla vs Kong film. So many years, you know, they're, I guess they were setting up for, for, for this film from the Godzilla, Godzilla King of the Monsters and Kong Skull Island to bring us a new verse, universe, basically. Like, uh, as you can see, Marvel's doing that with the MCU, DC's doing that with the DC Extended Universe. Now, Warner's and Legendary Pictures are doing that with Monsterverse and, uh, they are really doing a good job releasing this film. Now to decide which movie so far is good in the MonsterVerse, I can't tell, like they're all such good movies. Uh, a little light, a little not that great on uh, Godzilla, the first Godzilla movie, but it does pick up really good after Kong Skull Island and Godzilla vs. Godzilla King of Monsters in this one. So, so far I really don't have a favorite. It's between Godzilla King of the Monsters and this film. Because they're bringing more in Titans. I don't want to say what's the Titan coming up in this in this movie. But you're going to enjoy it. Because as much as I was as a Godzilla fan. You will enjoy this movie. <laughs> so I hope this review gives us hope for, for more movies. I wish they could come up with more movies. More Titans. Monsterverse, continue doing your movies, man. It's it's really good. I hope uh, you guys do it. And that's about it. That's my review of uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Great movie, great actions, great special effects. Characters, yeah, they kept some of the characters. Kyle Chandler came, comes back as a cameo here and too. But, hey, it's a Monsterverse that might bring in new characters, but at least they keep all the Titans together. Why I think about this movie? Is really good. Go check it out. It's on HBO Max right now. Some selected theaters are open in the US and they might be playing in the city theaters but here in Canada you can scream on HBO Max and go watch it. It's a good movie. I recommend it. <laughs> I recommend it a lot. Well guys that's it. Comment down below what other movie reviews you want me to to cover. Smash that like button. Share this video and as always Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Catch you later, dudes.